Hello. So now let us discuss about how we can manage taxonomy. Now before we can jump into how Drupal handles taxonomy in the background or that, let us first see how the taxonomy thing is working. We have already seen that an article page supports taxonomy. Right? Here in the article content type when I edit this, you notice that I can either utilize the terms which are already there. Right? So let us say for mango, we will add another term. O R A N G E. Let's assume that sometimes it is orange also. So I have added this term orange and it did not turn up in the drop down. Fine. That means it did not exist. Now, so this kind of mechanism where I can either utilize an existing one or I can add a new one is called as a free tagging mechanism. So I'm creating a new tag. And when I save this, this tag gets added of to this particular article also, it gets associated with this and it gets populated into my taxonomy also. Another way of utilizing this, which is not shown over here is a drop down list, a drop down list using taxonomy. If you remember in our content of uh, book info, fine, over here we had created this particular drop down. So this is a drop down which we created in this content type. This is not taxonomy, but we could use the concept of taxonomy to generate a drop down over here. Now you would ask what would be the difference? This is a drop down list simply created or associated with this specific content type. As I mentioned earlier, taxonomy terms are kept separately. Fine. So when I associate it with this particular content type, then that taxonomy term list will be read and displayed over here. The advantage would be that I could use the same list at multiple places. Fine. So let's get into this. How do we create taxonomy? So coming to this structure, we will go to taxonomy. Fine. Now here there is tags. This is the one which is there by default. Test is I just created a test one. Let's just remove this. It's not required. Delete vocabulary. Right now, <coughs> taxonomy, the term which I've been using is a common term, the concept which is used for categorization of your content. Now, Drupal calls the whole set of these terms which you create as a vocabulary, a set of vocabulary. So, the term tags over here by default, which is given is called as your vocabulary. The name of the vocabulary is tag under tags. There will be a lot of terms. If you see here, fine list terms, I will be able to see how many terms are there under this one. Fine. And from this interface, I can manage any of these terms. So let us edit this. Here, there is the name of the term. I can update this term over here and automatically it gets reflected everywhere. Fine. Whoever was utilizing this, there can be some description of this. So this is very interesting. A taxonomy term can also work as a dictionary for you for information about that keyword and what it means and all. So that can also be described over here. Then we can create a relation. Fine. So like I can create a relation that fruit is a parent of this. So we can create a relation also, but let's leave it as it is. Weight is again where it comes up down right now. It doesn't matter. And we can create a URL alias for that fine, like taxonomy term, banana tags, so whatever. Right now, again, we are not going to get into that. So this way I can either save, delete or make changes to our particular term. So here this is, these are the terms and the term that we added was orange. You can see orange got added over here. Fine. So we can edit or delete it from here or manage our terms. This is happening from the free tagging mechanism. I can add a term manually from here, which can be utilized. So let us say what we can add another fruit or let us say we will add sweet potato. 
sweet potato and I will just save and go to the list. Now sweet potato is added into this though no one is using this term but it can be utilized anywhere the taxonomy tags will be used. Now coming back to our taxonomy. Okay, so now let's add another taxonomy or another vocabulary. So first of all, I will add a vocabulary and here the name of the vocabulary will be list of countries, fine, a complete list of countries do not use with free I have just mentioned that so here now I have created the basic vocabulary over here list of countries now I will add a term to this now let's go to this let's select the first country and let's add this term we can give some description we can create a relation URL alias and save fine so this particular is created now the second one I will create over here and I will save this so now we have added these two countries and we will have to continuously update this now let us see how we can utilize this though this is a huge list I will uh, will add one module which will allow us to basically manage uh, this list when we have a very huge list or something which we want to import but this is the concept we can add this and if we go to this and uh, see the list so we have these two countries listed over here now if I wanted to utilize this particular taxonomy somewhere fine or this vocabulary somewhere first of all we will have to go to our structure fine so if you remember we had created the content type book info so let's go to manage fields and here let's add another field create a new field and let's call it as a oh, first of all we will now this will be a reference so this is what I was saying is that taxonomy will not be stored with associated with the node every time you create a content it creates a node right article basic page or whatever content type you have created so here this is a reference to taxonomy term fine now here I will call it country country of origin basically from where that book originates or something just for the sake of it okay now here we will choose the taxonomy term this we have uh, selected limited to one allowed number of values here we will save the field setting over here fine and now here some help text can be given it can be a required field now uh, reference method is default let's leave it as it is the vocabulary that we want to use fine and here this is create reference entities if they don't exist so I don't want this one to be allowed fine and let us save this if I use tags then tags will also be available so let's save this and see what happens now this is saved and now let's go back to content and let's edit one existing book which we had created I think that was a Drupal learning Drupal okay so let's open this fine and now you will notice that if we edit this page we will have this option of country of origin fine now this is again if I say a it will list me this like if I say I n it's not there so it will not list me or if I say I in India and if we try to save let me see if it save this error message so it says there is no taxonomy term matching India okay so here it will allow me this only so one of the countries we will select fine and let us save this fine now we have saved this here it says 
this list has come and there is one content which is using that particular term 